All right, FAQ number 82. Should Christians be involved in sports? Now, the reason I worded this question that way is because involvement can be twofold. You can play in sports, but you can also watch it as entertainment. Uh, if you want to see more on that, read Romans chapter, uh, the end of chapter 1 and, and into chapter 2 there about uh, being guilty because you're taking pleasure in those same things. But this is a very important question. And I'd like to eventually do an, a bigger study on this whole subject of the thing of sports because uh, sports has gone and it's become uh, not just a pastime but an obsession with people. And uh, the statistics about you know wives being beaten around Super Bowl time and, and uh, families being torn apart by sports and things and, and just some of the fanatical stuff you, that you can find online people just screaming, painting their faces, you know, and fist fights. And I mean, they have, you know, most sports stadiums now actually have their own courtroom right in the sports stadium there to, you know, you know, legislate it or not legislate, but to take care of the criminal actions and things that are happening during sports games. I mean, it's just, it's insanity. You know, the thing that sports has become, but the question comes up here as far as what do you do if you're a Christian? What's this thing with sports? Turn in your Bible to Romans chapter 12. We're going to read just a couple verses here. Romans chapter 12, verse 9. It says here, Let love be without dissimulation. Dissimulation is like hypocrisy. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love, in honor preferring one another. Um, when you are playing sports, can you prefer the other person? No. I mean, there might be a quote-unquote team sport, but, you know, what about uh, if it's single sports and things where you're competing against everybody else, it's just you versus everybody else, do you really prefer one another? Well, not if you really want to win. But uh, let's go down here, jump down to verse 14, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Again, if you're in a race or running some kind of a thing like that, can you really bless people that just passed you or something like this? You know, Verse 15, Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. How about that one for modern day sports? Okay, providing things honest in the sight of all men. These athletes, you know, quote-unquote athletes, they're doing steroids and they're doing whatever they can, you know, lying to people and stuff, trying to get ahead in the sports world. How do you uh, provide things honest in the sight of all men? See? And there's, you know, boxing matches are rigged and football games are rigged and there's all kinds of stuff. You know, there's so much stuff against this. That's a whole other study, but... Um, verse 18, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. How does that work out with the whole thing of sports? You know, well, I saw one time uh, two guys on opposing football teams and the one gave a drink to the other one or something like this. Uh-huh. You know, you look at the fans and things at these at these different games and stuff, and they're just going crazy. But, of course, I know somebody's going to say, well, doesn't the Bible say that, you know, liken us as Christians to being in a race? Well, let's look about this. Verse 24, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. Now ye know, or know ye, excuse me, know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. Talking about your rewards. Uh, running in your life as a Christian, you know, really striving for this thing. Verse 25, And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as in uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. So, 
it, in terms of you working for rewards, working for the Lord Jesus Christ, yes, you should be very, very motivated. Uh, you should run like you're running in a race. Okay, that's very important. Uh, you can learn something from the athletic system for that purpose. But how are you earning rewards when you're watching sports or playing in some kind of a sports type of a thing? And don't get ahead of me. I'm not, I'm not saying that, uh, you know, any time that you do any kind of a little game or something with your children or family or, you know, people getting together and stuff like that, that it's all just abominations and wicked. I'm not saying that. Okay, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But this whole sports agenda thing, this whole big sports uh, system is just, it's very, very much contrary to the Bible. Let me show you another verse here. Okay, had to look up a verse there really quickly. Luke chapter 16, verse 15. I was thinking of another one. I went to it and I thought, no, that's not the one I was thinking about. Luke chapter 16. And again, this is another key scripture. I go over this one a lot, but it's very important to remember. Luke chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Oh, I'm the Stanley Cup winner and, and I, you know, I won NASCAR last year. Are you highly esteemed among men? The Bible says right there, you're an abomination in the sight of God. You know how you get to be a great athlete? By putting a lot of other people down. It's totally contrary to the way we're supposed to be as Christians. You know? Just incredible. Let me look up another verse here very quickly. Um, and I've seen this thing. And boy, I mean, you know, I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Uh, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 17 says, Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. Uh, how do you work that out when you're running in a marathon? And you're some guy just passed you and, and you're running as fast as you can and you know and you're not catching him he's starting to lose you and all of a sudden you see him fall flat on his face do you rejoice in your heart when you see that you know when you're watching your favorite football team on tv and that quarterback for the other team there whatever you're the team that you can't stand he gets knocked down gets sacked or whatever they call it you know and they carry him off the field, and all of a sudden that game starts to swing to your team's advantage. Do you rejoice? Uh, what's that teaching you? What's that teaching your children? Hmm. And you know, on that note, uh, I've been around professing Christians that get into the thing of even something as innocent as a board game. And they'll get really, really, really carnal. And board games are a game of chance. Now, I realize people say, well, there's no money involved in things like this. Yeah, but there's pride involved. And I've seen some really, really proud people get very, very arrogant, professing Christians, and they'll get real arrogant playing board games. And they'll start saying, hey, you know, I remember this one time my wife was playing with these different women at this Babel building we used to go to, and, and uh, you know, she didn't win, which my wife hated even playing the thing. But, you know... And uh, the pastor's wife said to her, you know, walk, she walked into the Babel building and the pastor's wife went, hey, and she went like this and said, loser, right in front of everybody because she won a game, a board game. And then they had this like couple's dinner thing or something and they were giving out trophies for winning board games. What is that? Pride. That's what that thing is. Now, having said that, let me say this. If you're a parent and you have children or things like that and you want to go out in the backyard and throw a ball around or, or you know, throw a ball and they can hit it and stuff like this with a little baseball game or something, there's nothing wrong with that. That's totally fine. Okay. What you're trying to eliminate is trying to get that spirit of pride, that spirit of competition. You know, if you see your children and they're fighting and things like this and I'm a better player than you are, and you are not, I'm a better player. You need to get away from that. So, you know, this whole thing of sports, I mean, it's kind of funny because, it, you know, 200 years ago, sports was just something that people might have 
done just a family get-together or whatever else, nobody would, would have even thought about paying somebody to play sports. You know, now it's just like it's a huge business. You know, multi-billion dollar business. It's insanity. So, should Christians be involved in sports? Well, if it's just a simple game of, of playing things with your children that does not lead to pride, sure. But if it's uh, professional teams on television and there's, you know, I mean, there again, I've, I've heard of professing Christians, you know, that, that will scream and yell because their favorite team dropped a ball. A bunch of grown men playing with a ball, you know, and they'll scream and yell. There was a guy, I remember I went to this one Babel building, and this guy would just, just get livid. I mean, he just would go mad. He'd go crazy, man, arguing over sports teams. And yet you talk to him about the Bible version issue. It was just like, well, I don't really think we should make an issue of that. I, whatever, somebody wants to use a new version, well, you know, eh. Something's real wrong with that. So, <clears throat> should Christians be involved in sports? Uh, personal family games that don't lead to pride? Sure. Uh, things that lead to pride and competition, spirit of competition? Absolutely not.